Okay, today's video we're going to forego the introductions. If you want to check out the channel, check out some of our other videos, figure out what we're all about. But today's video we're going to talk about the lube shuttle versus, well, really the, the lock and lube versus the lube shuttle. So here's uh, a grease gun that I picked up a couple years ago. This is a Lincoln grease gun, and I upgraded this to the lock and loop grease cap. So this is what I've had experience with. Recently fell upon the loop shuttle and love their system, love the grease cartridge changing system, and they also offer a quick attach lock. And I saw this on their website, and I said, hey, that is the lock and lube. I've got to have it. So I, I just ordered the whole kit, came with the whole thing. I've got a separate video on that if you want to check it out. But when I started using it, I used it on the snowplow video, and if you look at that video, uh, I really struggled, and I ended up, you know, tossing this to the side and going back to my old Lincoln and, and Lock and Lube because this thing just hooks on and goes, and we are good to go. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure this out. I, you know, I hook it on, and it would fall off, and the whole point of this quick lock is that it stays on. Well, uh, after filming that video, I found a video from Tractor Mike, and he showed the proper way to install these. So we'll go outside and show you the proper way to install this and then we'll be back. So I've really liked having this loop shuttle grease gun. I'm not super impressed with their quick lock, their quick attach, um, but I do like other brands quick lock and quick attach. So we're probably going to upgrade this today. Uh, like I said, I've been super happy with the loop shuttle, the tube system, and the actual the grease they have. I think it's all great stuff. Here's one example where it's just really hard to get. and. Uh, if there's a grease circuit in here for the track, this track only has 25 hours on it, but it's loosened up quite a bit, so this needs to be tightened up. And I, I've tried putting this on here, and I'll show you why I don't like this version in comparison to other brands. So I think it was the Tractor Mike or Farmer Mike YouTube channel that, that really helped me figure this out, but I was doing my snowplow winterization video, and I couldn't for the life of me get this to hook on. I would, I would hook it on, let go, and then it would just fall right off, and I, was, I had no clue what I was doing. Uh, but he said, you, you know, you push the thumb thing, push it on, and then you have to push it on further. And you can see it snaps in there. So we'll do that one more time. So you, you don't just push it on, you have to open it, put it on, and then push it on, and then it latches. And then you can grease. And I like the pistol grip because I'm, you know, one-handed operation. But the problem with this is... You know, here the sand's getting all greasy and nasty, and I'm having to, you know, get on it and push extra leverage. And I, I'm i used to my lock and loop, and I really like the lock and loop. And it's, it's just, uh, it's the same. And you really have to push hard, too. I mean, like the lock and loop, I mean, when it's on there, it's, it's freaking on there. But we'll take you back in the shop. So now that you've seen how this uh, loop shuttle quick lock works, um, you know, the biggest difference for me, and we'll show you how the lock and loop works after we install this, the biggest difference for me is the ease of use. With, with the lock and loop, you pull these jaws back, you clasp it on, and you let go, and it's engaged. With uh, the loop shuttle, it's not that way. You have to do that extra, you know, push action, and, and it actually is quite uh, quite the amount of exertions required. So, in greasing the machine, the, the new Bobcat uh, E35 uh, compact excavator, I realized that these little tips are not going to work. Uh, you know, they're just in the way. You know, we've got, uh, you know, in fact, I like the the loop shuttle version because it's actually a little bit lower profile, as you can see here. And uh, this actually, this quick lock worked on most of my adapters and even got in some holes like that hole on the tracks. But I couldn't get on, engage on the tracks. So what I'm going to try to do is I ordered this lock and lube grease coupler and this is the extended version. I'm going to try the extended version out and see if I can grease my whole entire machine without having to, to change out tips. The whole point of this is I want it to be something that works on every single application. So we'll, uh, we'll install this and uh, give it a shot and see how well it works. Um, you know, maybe it ends up being that we come down to, we have a couple different grease guns uh, for certain areas of the machine. 
and I, I guess this is a rebuild kit, so we can rebuild these lock and loop things. I guess they have some grease points in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my quick connect from the lock and loop and put this uh, the, the lock and loop on this loop shuttle, and we'll go from there. Say goodbye to this old gal, and say hello to our old friend, the lock and loop. Oh, we got her on tight. Yes, we did. Didn't skimp on that one. I hope these are the same threads. Guess we'll find out. Hopefully they're standardized. This says NPT there, so National Pipe Thread. You know, the nice thing is we're not pushing through gas or you know, anything like that. We're, we're pushing through grease, which is a, a pretty thick material. So, you know, even if this is not a perfect seal here, uh, you know, that grease is going to take a long time to liquidify and kind of come out these little chases in here. <laughs> nice clean install. You know, the one thing with the, the lube shuttle is this thing does swivel. So I did like that there was a swivel action in there with the, the lock and lube. It's, you're kind of one and done, and I've actually kind of got it upside down, but I, I think it'll work. It's just, uh, you know, you you know you can bend the hose and make the hose work, but it is, it is once it's screwed in, it's in place. I guess while we got a clean one on here, we'll show you our jaws in action. So those jaws just open up. Okay, back to it outside. Guess before we go outside, I thought I'd show you this. So you look inside this tube, you can actually see how much grease you've used and how much you have left. Super nice feature and, uh, you know, kind of a game changer. Um, but still trying to figure out the tip, get our uh, perfection in here. Okay, just like that, we're on there. Okay, pretty good. Got our circle on the other side here. Man, that is just so much easier. We actually should have serviced this about 10 hours ago. Um, and maybe even the first five. These tracks loosened up super quick, kind of just that initial break in. Okay, so let's kind of show you a close up action on how this works. So we go in here, and we open up our jaws, we press this on, and we let go, and that's engaged. And then we can squeeze our grease in. Look at all that water that's coming out. We had a good rainstorm here the other day. And then to remove, you just pull this, pops right off, and good to go. So uh, much simpler than having to push it in like we did with the other connector lock. Well, that's a wrap on this pretty simple uh, project with grease guns. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, Thrifty Garage, we're all about DIY repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And this is just kind of one of those projects we do. I own and operate a landscape business, so do a lot of equipment and trailer-related content as well. And uh, landscaping, uh, Pairs. We just did a mulch install in the front yard there, so uh, stick around to the channel, subscribe if you're interested, and if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.
Okay, we're back. Okay. So now that you've seen how this uh, loop shuttle quick lock works, 